Welcome to a brand new week of Climbing Daily. On today's show, we have a Moon special with the man, the legend that is Ben Moon. We're at the Moon stand here at uh, Outdoor and I've managed to catch up with the man himself, Ben Moon, to show us a little bit about the new products that he's got here. So, Ben, talk to me a little bit about these new campus rungs. Yeah, so yeah, we've got some new um, campus rungs. We decided to make them out of a plywood. Um, they come in three sizes, like an 18 millimeter, 23 millimeter, and a 29 millimeter. Uh, we've made them slightly wider than most other campus rungs, um, just so you can do like a wider grip. They're like 500 mil wide or 50 centimeters wide. And they all come with pockets as well. So if you want to do pocket training on them, you know, you can do. Um, you know, it's quite good with, with the pockets if you're doing lock-offs because you've got to be a bit more accurate to get your fingers in the pockets and stuff. So, yeah, they're a little bit different to, you know, other campus boards that are out, campus rungs that are out there. <laughs> Fantastic. And as I understand it, these are available to buy now. How much are they? Uh, yeah, they're out now. Uh, they're t the small ones about £10, uh, £12 and £14, I think, is the retail price. Now, your recent ascent of Rain Shadow has hit press everywhere. Um, and is it fair to say, because of your age, it's kind of a bit more of an achievement? How do you feel about that? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously 9A by sort of today's standards is not sort of world class, but I suppose, yeah, it's the fact that I'm almost 50 and, um, you know, still managing to climb 9A. And the fact that I, it's, you know, uh, my second 9A, which, you know, 25 years after the first 9A that I climbed has made, you know, is, is the reason why it's been so sort of newsworthy. Did you, um, did you have any specific training when you, when you were going for it or did you just sort of carry on the same things that you were doing, you know, back in the day? Uh, yeah, I definitely had sort of fairly specific uh, training routine for it. I mean, it was, it was when I got back into climbing again, it was one of the routes that I really wanted to do. And I probably started training for it back in sort of October 2014. Yeah, basically, I really focused mainly on strength training sort of for a couple of months. And then as the sort of as the months went by, I, I started doing more sort of strength endurance training, you know, until I started trying the route and then obviously getting endurance on the route. I think I read somewhere that you sent the route sort of quicker than you were expecting to. Um, does that mean that you think that you can go a bit harder? Is there, have you got your sights set on any higher grades? Have you got any projects at the moment? Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, possibly. I mean, you know, I spent, it, I think it took me 17 days, um, and which is, you know, it's not as quick as Adam Andre who took two days, but, uh, you know, it's comparable to, say, Steve McClure or, um, you know, probably quicker than maybe quicker than Jordan did it so uh, yeah I think um, yeah I think I could do something harder um, you know as long as yeah you know I can find the time and you know it's all about motivation I think you know if you really want something and you can find it and you've got the time you, or you can make the time then you know yeah sky's the limit. Just uh, one more thing you, uh, you talked about motivation is there anything specific that motivates you I mean are you one of those uh, these guys that are motivated by the grade or are you just motivated by the actual motion of doing the, the climbs? No, I'm not motivated by grade, uh, just motivate, well not, you know, I mean I want to climb as hard as I possibly can, I've always wanted to push myself to a limit so, you know, and you know that limit's kind of graded isn't it by routes and stuff so, um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm just sort of motivated by pushing myself to my limit and I'm motivated by sort of beautiful routes or boulder problems really and you know I was really struck by rain shadow um, you know and I'm keen to try and do my old Kilsey project Northern Lights as well which is not most it's not like as good as rain shadow but you know there's a lot of history there and it'd be good to try and get that finished I don't like failing on things thanks for that Ben don't forget to check out all the latest videos of the gear from Outdoor that we've produced on the Epic TV front page. We've made it nice and simple. It's right in the middle. Well, slightly to the right. See you tomorrow.